Welcome back to American Home by Heidi. So today in the kitchen, what we're gonna make is meatloaf. Meatloaf is probably the easiest, simplest recipe that you can make, and I'm gonna go through the process with you, so stay tuned. So for meatloaf, um, these recipes differ so much, but my basic, the basic one things you need is some ground beef and some pork of some sort. You could also buy the pre-mixed stuff. It's much cheaper to do it this way. And salt, breadcrumbs, pepper. I like to use mustard and I love Worcestershire sauce. And I add peppers and onions to my meatloaf um, just to make, put more vegetables in it for you. And then also one egg. We're gonna start by just adding our meat mixture. We get our beef from a local farmer. So we buy, um, a half a cow usually once a year so they come in these tubes and these tubes are two pounds so I basically used just one pound of beef I'm gonna make something else with that and then these tubes is just the Jimmy Dean regular sausage you need one pound of that so one and one of each the next um, part is any meatloaf you make it's basically one pound of each meatloaf or excuse me beef and pork then you just do one cup and one egg that's your base for your meatloaf so it's pretty simple um, to remember and you can add in there's Italian style meatloaf anything like that and then you want to add in some salt I don't use exact measurements, but basically probably a teaspoon or a teaspoon and a half of salt. I use the Himalayan salt. And mustard, again, I just eye this. You don't want too much, but probably a teaspoon and a half of that. And some fresh cracked pepper. You're gonna add that. My pepper's almost out here. There we go. Some people like to add Italian seasoning. The breadcrumbs I have is actually already seasoned. And then Worcestershire sauce is the gig here. So I'm gonna add some of that. And you can buy this in bulk. It's so much cheaper to buy it in bulk. I actually got this at a Costco. So I'm gonna add some of that. And then after that, you're going to add in your peppers. Now, all these peppers are actually from my garden. I just dice them up and I put them in these um, freezer bags. And then whenever I need some, I just take them out. So I'm going to go and put probably, I don't know, maybe a fourth a cup, third a cup of peppers. And then the same with my onions. I can't get this bag open. My, my. I'm gonna have to cut that. And again, these onions, if you buy onions in bulk, you can freeze them up. And then whenever you need them, you just pull them out. It really just saves time on putting your, putting together your meals quicker so you don't have to spend time dicing and chopping and all sorts of things. All right, we got a few of those in there. And the next thing is the fun part. You're gonna mix this all up. Some people like to use gloves. I don't really have a problem with just getting in there with my hands. So a simple, easy way to prepare meals during the week is to make them ahead of time and then freeze them. Normally I would actually make a double batch of this um, but because I have to make another recipe, I'm not going to. But this really saves on time. I wish I did this raising my son um, because it's so hard to prepare good meals when you're so busy running the kids around or what have you. So we're going to use a piece of parchment paper. Um, just a little trick to lay it flat if you actually sprinkle it like that. It will lay much flatter for you like that. And it doesn't matter that it's um, rounded. And this is a really nice size meatloaf. You can use this for, if you have a large family, this would be one meal. And I would just pair it with some mashed potatoes 
or um, some and a vegetable of some sort. So I'm just putting that in. The um, vegetables will keep this nice, um, keep it from drying out. They'll put moisture back in. I'm just forming it into a loaf here. I used to use a meatloaf pan, but this actually cooks much better. After you have your meatloaf formed up like this, all you're gonna do is wrap it up like a little gift, like so. And then we're gonna put it, if you're freezing it, you can cook it just like that. You're gonna cook it about 350, 375, depending on your oven. Ugh, plastic wrap and me, now we're gonna long. Oh, not too bad. Uh, for about an hour, so 350 for about an hour. And then I'm gonna freeze this, so I'm gonna wrap it in some saran wrap so it keeps good. And you can also use a Ziploc freezer bag, that works, as, that works just as fine. And I'm gonna wrap it one way and then the other. And then for some final protection, I'm just gonna wrap it in some heavy duty foil. And then I'll stick this in the freezer. And then you can pull it out of the freezer ahead of time. If you forget, you can still cook it from, from the frozen mode. And all you would do is uncook it for a longer period of time. So it's a very simple meal. You just pull it out of the freezer, put it in the oven, and you have a home cooked meal. Thank you for watching that. And it's just such an easy home cooked meal that you can have for you and your family. And you can make it ahead of time in the freezer. So no prep at all during the week. So I hope you enjoy this recipe and thank you for watching. And if you like this content, please give it a like and always subscribe for future recipes and videos around American Home by Heidi. Thank you.